कैसे हो भाई लोग या बैठे बैठे गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेंट में वी हैव बैड बॉय बीमन This is an ex Call of Duty cheater, and you know suckers have caught him cheating Bruh. a long, long time ago. But now he has a change of heart. He's a changed man. He has he is catching other people cheat right now, and he is gonna give his perspective <laughs> on Z Laner. Who is Doctor Disrespect friend? Z Laner was caught cheating in the same lobby as Doctor Disrespect, though. Oh shit! Yeah, obviously Doctor Disrespect. He's a very, very good player. He doesn't cheat, uh, at least as of yet. There is no allegations, but you know, you you can see he's playing with Doctor Disrespect. He always does. And now we have Bad Boy Beeman. He's gonna explain. He's an ex cheater. He's gonna explain why this is cheating, why this is not. It should be very, very interesting. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, if you love videos like these, and let's catch these cheaters. This clip you can clearly see his aim locking on. It's the unnatural snap to the door that is a very big problem for me. So this guy runs into the crosshair, then his aim locks onto him. As soon as the enemy's down, it goes dink over to the door, and then the enemy pops out. Perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Perfect. Yeah. It is very uh, dink dink. But honestly, though, let's be real, right? Like it does feel like natural aim, right? Bruh. I don't know, man. Listen, I don't play Warzone. I do play Call of Duty, but not necessarily Warzone. But, but like, I don't know about it. If this keeps on happening, where the aim is si simply like the same, same ish every single time, if there's the same pattern, then I would be like hella suspect, though. But it, it's like, check this out, right? Because usually you would aim a little bit for if the enemy is right here and he's running towards somewhere, you're gonna be leading the aim, right? So I don't think, but but let's see. To the door. And then the enemy pops out. Perfect timing, wouldn't you say? It is very obvious to me these situations because I have personally seen how aimbot functions. So it's up to me to try and explain to you guys what is and what isn't aimbot. Yeah. But the way it locked onto the enemy, upper sort of chest area, neck area. Guys, come on, man. Like, stop hitting on the man. Everybody, give it up for the homie, bro. He's a change man. He had a change of heart. And he's a change man, simple as that, bro. He has stopped cheating and now he catches other people cheating, though. That's a W in my book, bro. That is a W in my book. Some of y'all suckers are like, nah, bro, he did that, he committed crime, and he can never be a change person. Brad, that was his past, bro. Now he's a change man. He's trying to do good in the world. So, W for bad boy Beeman. Yeah, it's very strange. And then the same again with the second enemy. But it almost looks like he's used his aimbot foot pedal to toggle it to search for the next enemy. Same applies here. You can clearly see the moment it locks on. So from there it goes dink and locks on to the enemy. <laughs> Very strange behavior. <laughs> you don't know. Like what? Like, like dink. But honestly though, okay man, listen. Uh, 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 that's very hard, right? Because uh, with Symphony, the enemy would be here. He would be looking across the map, and all of a sudden, bam! He locks on the target. Symphony easily, like you can look at the gameplay. You can say he's a cheater. But uh, so far, I don't watch Zlaner, by the way. I know some of you suckers watch, and if you watch, do you think he's a cheater? One, if yes, two, if not, I want to know your thoughts. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of clips, so we're gonna find out. But so far, from these very first two clips. It doesn't feel like that he's aimbotting. Only so far from these first Bruh. two clips, okay? I, I gotta be honest, I'm just calling out what I see. I don't watch the streams. Maybe I would have a different opinion if I watch the streams. But let's let's keep on watching. Even the jump at the end as the enemy goes down. So we've zoomed right in because he's off center. Bang, straight onto him. And it's as soon as he fires that first shot, the aim locks on. Same with this one. A couple missed at the start, right? But then, bink, locks onto the enemy. Like, bing. And then after this enemy goes down, ready? It transfers instantly to the second enemy. Meaning that he's still got it toggled on. Causing that transfer across from enemy one to enemy two. Maybe that's true, but like... Zoom. Maybe maybe that's true though. Like, listen, it, it, it obviously can be true. But here's the thing though. It's so hard to call him 100% a cheater based on this clip alone. Because usually, right? Like, what do you do? If you have two enemies, you aim on one and, and you go a little bit to the right. Boom! I know, crazy shocker. Whoa. Right? This can... I mean, Sigas aim naturally like this way as well though. But... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's suspect. It's suspect. 
zoomed in again you can see it more clear as the transfer happens the enemy goes down and his aim just snaps onto the next available target which just so happens to be right next to him and we've seen this multiple times what you guys think you guys think that he's cheating or do you think that the aim feels kind of natural because so far it's looking like it can be natural maybe there's a new technology in the market that is making aimbot looks very very human like aim by obviously on steroids like the homie face swag who likes to i don't know man i don't know it feels okay so this one would be interesting usually if i also see an enemy i would also lead a little bit because he's running and i would make sure i move my aim accordingly but this would be this would be interesting this would this should be from z lane in the past something i will say about z lane he's okay. learned to let the enemy run into his crosshair okay holy okay so there's another enemy on the other side and he moved that fast like like he was symphony oh shit, oh, shit. okay bad boy beeman might have a point guys i might might have a point listen i'm reacting live i'm reacting live to these videos so and then his aim sticks to the enemy meaning once that enemy is in his crosshair toggle on and away you go this is something that we didn't see very often we saw him toggling and snapping onto enemies very early on in the dance but now what we're seeing here is him learning how to use his cheats because if that was in fact just aim assist as they like to say there would have been a slight push as the enemy was running across his crosshair but it wasn't it's toggled on now this one perfectly tracking the enemy in the air but one okay, thing this that... last clip is hella suspect though i'm like 50 50 right now i mean z laner listen z laner has been accused for cheating like a long long time ago okay for for a very long time he's been accused of cheating there has been allegations Bruh. so uh and i mean who's better to catch him cheating than the homie bad boy beeman though i need call of shame to be on this case immediately okay i wanted to point out about this clip is when there's a sort of malfunction here so he whips his map up a couple of times which breaks away the aim are you ready yeah so that moment there yeah. tells me maybe there's a malfunction with his aimbot program again here completely locks onto this guy yeah where he's coming like, from ping? although he did like see what? him prior to this i will say pings him through the rock though and then the guy runs out and he absolutely lasers him from there Damn. don't get me wrong this gun's op at the moment anyway but we're not paying attention to how quick people are dying we're only paying attention to the unnatural mechanics so he's pinged that guy through the rock and then locks onto him and it's always the same area. yeah so far what you all think is we thinking you guys think that he is dead ass cheating you're 50 50 or you're like nah man he's not cheating he's just natural naturally talent he doesn't take the shots like the homie face swag like ding, 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 ding. i wanna know your pass where you suck his head right now okay i wanna know your opinion because right now i'm 50 50 though yeah, I admit, I don't watch uh, Z laner streams. Uh, uh, I also don't play Warzone. I've been playing Black Ops Cold War, Nuketown 24 7 for the past two and a half weeks regularly, and I've been having a, r a really, re uh, I've been having very, very good. Uh, I've been enjoying the lobbies. I'm like what, listening to podcasts, playing the game without any sound like I used to back in the days during Black Ops 2, right? Uh, and, and now I'm finally able to because with the thick ass skill based match again in the newer games, I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 either. Bruh. Uh, so in the newer games with skill based matching you cannot do that it's like working a job you gotta play like your life depends on it but right now in black ops cold war i'm loving it i'm taking it very lightheartedly not even you know trying that hard and i'm having like really really fun fun lobby sometimes i do trash other times i have like one or two kd like simple Bruh. as that uh, and I'm happy with that. I don't need to do 5, 10 KD to be happy. I just need to, you know, be able to play the game, enjoy it, and listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos at the same time. And I'm happy. I'm a happy guy like that, okay? But I don't play Warzone 3, so I don't have knowledge. I'm not, like, strong, independent, no need, no man, like uh, Nadia or, like, the the, 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 the up-and-coming strong, independent female streamers, though. That's the enemy that he's locking on to. This is something we used to see in Verdansk. When it came to the likes of Rebirth Island and other modes, he started changing his uh, aimbot settings so that he was locking onto knees and elbows, and that was because he was being found out by none other than yours truly. So he decided to change his program, but it looks like he's gone back to square one with his cheats. 
Now that right there is an indication of an aimbot snap. He saw the enemy glint of the sniper, but his aim was slightly to the right. It's as he shoots, his aim snaps to the left. Watch again now as we've zoomed in on it. Okay. Right, so it's not about wall hacks or anything like that. It's only about his aim. So he, he sees the glint there. He knows the enemy's there. His aim's off now. And then as soon as he shoots, it whips back to the enemy there. Yo! It's not a natural behavior. It's unnatural. It's mechanical. And it is very strange. Almost Damn. like an aimbot. Yeah, I'm noticing that pattern. I'm noticing that pattern. Yeah, it's like always around the, the torso neck area. Left, right. Kind of like this area. Sometimes it would be here. It would be here, here, and here. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I mean, Bad Boy Beeman might be onto something right now, though. But still, it's not 100% because we've seen Symphony, right? Like, the guy would be completely on the other side, right? Like, he would be looking like, and bam, right in the center. And bam, right in the center. He would be looking directly at the enemy. Meanwhile, he's like looking, he's like 180. He would completely do a 180, sometimes 360 even. Um, and he's like wall hacking. With some symphon Symphony, it's very, very uh, easy to tell. But with Z Laner, I think he's kind of smart. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta cheat. I gotta take the tick, tick, ticks. But not like on a daily basis though. You Bruh. feel what I'm saying? Just trying to mix water in the milk, right? So the so it's it's not just water, water. You see a little bit of that milk, and milk being like the real uh, situation, I guess, or Bruh. vice versa, kind of like. But you know, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to right? I, I know a retarded example, but what I'm trying to say here is that let's just say water, his real skills, milk being fake skills, and he's mixing the two right now. So it's not obvious. It's not that obvious, if that makes sense. I know retarded example from my end, my bad. We're gonna keep it in, okay? This one's very quick, but as he turns the corner here, his aim's off again, and bang, bang, bang. As soon Damn. as he starts shooting, his crosshair straight onto the enemy upper chest. Ready? Crosshair's off, so it's not great centering, but bang. Damn. Yeah? Yo! That was a very hey. quick kill, but a good example. Hey, hey, time out! E e e e e e e time out, bro, time out! This suck is cheating, I feel like. <laughs> I think this suck is cheating. And I mean, who's better to call it out than X uh, Cheater? I mean, he definitely has the knowledge. I mean, even in this video, he acknowledged the fact that he <laughs> he has experience with aimbot. I mean, damn, though. Oh, shit. That is crazy, man. Made it to your guard party. In Urdu, I'd like to say, yeah, made it better, better, made it guard party. With his crosshair being off target until he starts. I'm going to send you a lot of cheaters. I'm going to send you a lot of cheaters. I'm going to send you a lot of cheaters. Shooting. Same again with this one. He's lying down here, waiting for an enemy to come out because Dr. Disrespect's just died to him inside. The enemy comes out, watches Crosshair tracking the perfect, and it's off until he starts shooting now. And it's on. And guess where it's on? The upper chest. Now, yeah. this is something that we pay attention to when it comes to T-Laner. There are patterns within his aim. Like I mentioned earlier, there was a whole period of time he was locking onto an enemy's left knee. And then there was Crazy a period man. of time where he was locking onto the enemy's left elbow. And these are aim bone selections, by the way. So Yo, he Dr. Disrespect gotta stop playing, man, with, with him. Because now Sick is gonna accuse Dr. Disrespect as well. It's like one of those situations. I mean, Dr. Disrespect's not a cheater. Love the guy. Great streams. Right, great gameplay entertainer, uh, entertaining guy on YouTube, on the internet, let's just say. But he gotta stop playing with cheaters because, you know, Sega's would always, it's like the swag situation, right? I don't even think swag cheats hardcorely. I, don't, I think he reverse boost, maybe he cheats like a little bit, just a little bit. He he's an okay player accor according to Nick Marx. Nick Marx once said that swag isn't even good to be a cheater, you know Bruh. what I mean? And I genuinely think that Swag does a little bit, but he's not like a full-blown cheater like Nadia and Symphony. But he's accused of cheating all the time because he hangs out with a lot of cheaters. He called cheaters naturally gifted. And so obviously, Swag is going to be like, yeah, you cheat too, bruh. So it's one of those things, man. I want to know your thoughts and click on this video on the screen. Some of these suckers, this is a massive video, okay? Some of these suckers were caught cheating and then arrested! Oh shit! Oh shit! Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.